Hey guys, it's me, Elephants Are Tasty. <laughs> oh, the light. Ugh. Welcome back to my Ruby Reactions for Volume 6. This one's going to be for Episode 8, Dead End. And um, I just came off of Episode 7. Didn't talk much about that because I'm just catching up and then I guess I'll talk about my thoughts. As y'all know, at the beginning of these videos, usually I do a little disclaimer of like things I've been spoiled on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. But actually, when I forgot to mention it in the last video, until the very end, um that I'm gonna start with in this one is I know at some point soon probably this episode because it's already been kind of spoiled on Twitter so I don't think people would really tweet about that until the episode would have gone live so I don't think it's in the next one which is still only for um sponsors first members whatever I'm so jumbled right now um the thing is Oscar apparently goes missing and I honestly think that's because no one gives him a fucking hug and so spots are always forever still open for the Oscar Protection Squad 2K19 now. Uh, if you want to join the Oscar Protection Squad, please leave a comment uh, down below and we'll get you signed up right away. Uh, meetings every day, 24-7. You get the gist. We are always protecting our pure little farm boy Oscar. Anyway, this is the thumbnail where <laughs> Jean is all pissed at Oscar, and I guess that's part of the reason why Oscar decides to disappear. Jesus, that poor little boy cannot get a break, and I'm so pissed. He needs a fucking break. But, whatever. So, this episode is Atlas doesn't want to help Ruby and Juniper, um, so they need to figure out what to do, and then also in the episode description it says you gotta tell them about Jin and I guess everything you learned. I mean, Ozpin has disappeared from Oscar's head, so if Jean attacks Oscar, he's attacking Oscar, which is completely unfair. So I hope, if that's the case, someone gives Jean shit about it, because no one fucking touches Oscar, unless he's in a fight, because then you're like, whatever. But hopefully you'll fucking get it. <sighs> I'm just like off the rails right now. There's not a lot else I don't think I've been spoiled on for this episode. All I remember seeing is the thumbnail. I'm still- okay, has anyone explained why Ren and- why Ren and Yang just immediately hugged when they were reunited? Because, okay, yeah, you're reuniting with your friends, but we haven't seen them really interact since, like, they fought in volume two and Ren looked up her skirt or something. I don't know, like, that just seemed- I don't know why, that's so funny. Ren and Yang going to hug each other immediately. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? I don't fucking know. If anyone could like be my psychologist and explain, that'd be great. But like low key, I ship it. But we're gonna I've shipped it for like a while, kind of in the background actually. But you know, we're just gonna ignore that and we're just gonna get ready to watch the episode. <laughs> anyway, okay, here we go. We're gonna start with the um theme song as usual. I don't know, like sometimes when I'm editing, I can hear the echo from these while I'm editing. And like, I didn't think it was that loud, but I don't know, that happens sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna try to go through this, watch this, and see if like, there's any more relevant information we've learned. Like, that, that's them at the beginning of the thing. Give me more Ren Renora, please. Okay, there's not a lot to analyze yet, but I'm just gonna look and see if there's anything that's become more relevant lately. Or if we've kind of exhausted everything. So we know obviously about the Silver Eyes. We haven't exactly seen Crow go off the real deep end yet, but I'm expecting just something worse to happen. Yeah, there's Cinder. She's already hung out with Neo. We haven't seen any of Adam or really the other villains except for that one thing with Salem. But I know the villains are in the thumbnail for the next episode. Okay, we've seen all, the, all this, obviously. Yeah, all that. Oh yeah, so this is when Jean attacks Oscar. Oscar just looks so depressed. Give him a hug. Ugh. I will not forgive these characters if no one gives him a hug. Ugh. He's like, okay. Real quick, after this is over, I'm gonna pause it again to finish my fucking thought because I never do that. Okay, my thought. Literally, Oscar is like, oh God, what is he, 14? Something like that, I think. Okay, I haven't looked at the wiki in a while, sorry. Um, but I'm going to try to step into his shoes. Um, 14 years old, he has suddenly been thrust the, pro debatably, debate, debatably, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm in emotional distress. He is, 
it has been thrust upon him. Basically, the biggest burden in the plant on the planet. I don't know what the gods are doing with the rest of the universe. I don't know. Um, on the planet, and he's fourteen. He has had to learn to fight, leave his home and his family, um, and just completely turn his life around. He's had to deal with tons of shit already, um, and now people are going to be verbally abusing him from left and right. Pu Crow literally punched him in the fucking face, and yes, he was punching Ozpin, but Ozpin was in the body of a 14-year-old boy who didn't want any of this, and... <clears throat> He just looks so dead inside, and honestly, if I was in Oscar's shoes and all this shit had gone down, and then Jean, I'm assuming, uh, what's going to happen, and then Jean, Jean comes and attacks me, and it's not even my fault, I would be depressed as fuck, I would run away, especially because Ozpin's gone from my head, and honestly, like, I don't want to get too dark here, and like, I would do, uh, let me just put it this way, I would do anything to get out of that situation. To have it all like end and not have to deal with that. Like, it's just, I, I would not be able to handle something like that. And honestly, Oscar, like this young kid, he didn't want any of this. He disappears, I know that. I, <laughs> if no one gives him a fucking hug or sits him down and tries to like, I don't know, play therapist or just try to talk to him or something, He's going to be literally depressed, PTSD, something like that, and want it to all go away. I'm going to play the episode now because I don't want to dwell on this any longer. But if something bad happens to Oscar because of this, I'm going to be pissed the fuck off for this fictional character. Yes, I cosplayed him. He's a part of me. I have the cane in another room. Come on. You didn't even hear <sighs> Whatever. Our orders are clear. The Mistral Atlas border is closed. Please have a good day. <laughs> a good day. <laughs> hey, if you don't want to believe that I'm What? They're so weird. There's they're General just a bunch of like groupies. But look, we have white schneeries <laughs> and we're trying to get her home safely. They're gonna still say no. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> Obviously, they get rejected because what goes on to happen, but. Are they gonna be like, you're not Weishni? Very well. <laughs> what? You may speak with our commanding officer. We will fetch her at once. <laughs> what is their issue? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Super weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're super fucking weird. What's wrong? Well, I may know this commanding officer. That's good, isn't it? Uh, if she's your friend, uh, is this her girlfriend? Or I wouldn't exactly call are they exes? Friends. Oh no, uh, not quite. Colleagues, former enemies. That's the one. Wait. <laughs> oh yes, I come through here about once every ten years to get my eyes checked up in Atlas. You bring outside cashews on one flight and cashews? suddenly you're placed on the additional screening oh. for life. You've got to be kidding me. Wait, <laughs> I want them to be exes though. I don't know. Whatever, this is so weird. This is like the weirdest situation. <laughs> what? Introducing special This is weird. Winter Schneeb. Cool. Another cool old lady. <laughs> she devil. <laughs> They're both so short. Contraband to smuggle this time. Oh, Cordo. You know they say. Oh my god, this is absurd. But I see you've still got that stick right up. Oh, Miss Cordovan? My name is Ruby Rose, and I was wondering if you would <laughs> I've already heard what your other little friends had to say. Miss Rose. What are you doing back here? I thought I told you to leave! Uh, and I told you <laughs> to tell you that I Nice to see you again as well. <laughs> oh, Ren, I love you. Aliens are clearly incapable of comprehending the importance of our mission here in August. So allow me to say this slowly. <sighs> what is their mission? They're just protecting the city, right? 
She's a badass, but also kind of weird. <laughs> and it is my duty to uphold them as only I have the right Are you not gonna acknowledge the Shni in the room? <laughs> oh my god. Go away. wanted to get you as far from the kingdom as possible. You're like the rest of these August ingrates. This city wouldn't even be here if it weren't for our Elysian ancestors. And what do we get in return? <laughs> Maybe if y'all weren't so fucking weird. People wouldn't treat you like weirdos. Crow's just like, fuck this lady. We were there. No one's happy about the Atlas borders or embargo. But I know General Ironwood is just worried. I thought Weiss was wearing gloves for a second. Does she not know that's Weiss Schnee? Atlas will prevail. Atlas will prevail. Go away. If Miss Schnee has truly come to her senses and wishes to return to her family, then of course the Atlas military will escort her home. Yeah, but y'all can't come. the kingdom will not be responsible for her friends of questionable character. What's that? Oh, does she not like Faunus? Oh, hell yeah! Weiss was gonna protect Blake because she sensed that the lady was racist. Oh, yeah? Well, your face looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Weiss I told you we wouldn't leave your side for a second we'll mm -hmm. find a way to Atlas together Oscar needs some new clothes I just thought of that <laughs> so where Crow are is now? depressed yeah. again what's the plan the plan the plan just got oh, shot God. in the face three times over. I'm going for a drink. Is anyone surprised? Uncle Crow, I really think we should try and come up with something. Together. Also, they're just carrying around the relic in broad daylight. I feel like that's a little dangerous. Fault, go on. If he's gonna be a jerk, then we'll just come up with Oh, I'm it. pausing it. I uh, the cat's about to get out of the bag. They're gonna be like, "What's Crow's problem? Why does he have a stick up his up his ass?" And uh, Ruby, Team Ruby's gonna be like, "Well, here's the thing." <laughs> no, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> yeah, they don't know anything. <sighs> oh. Everything we did was for nothing. Okay, good. They skipped over telling it again. Because it sure does sound like it. Oh, poor Juniper. What does Ren have to say? Then how are we supposed to win this? Yeah, Ren, I love you. <laughs> does no one realize that Jin just said Ozpin, Ozpin can't wow. kill Salem? But whatever. Great plan, everyone. <sighs> Leave well, Oscar alone. Great, no, but we're not the bad guys here. Are we sure about that? Mm, leave him alone. He's in your head, isn't he? Fuck off, John! I hate you. He didn't know any of it. How much longer can we even trust him? Kill John. John for death. Two K nineteen. John. Kill John. Twenty nineteen. Fuck John. Fuck you. Oh, honey. Fuck you, John. Oh, Oscar was scared of him. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. I don't care. Fuck John. Is Oscar okay? I think it would be best if we had some time to ourselves. Fuck off. I'll mm. use some space. No one thinks to comfort Oscar. Fuck, fuck all of them. Y'all suck. <sighs> My heart is breaking for him. Come on, please. Uh, where are you? You know, I came out here to avoid the yelling. I'm so disappointed. The I hate Jean. Jean is a fucking asshole. Him. I don't know. 
I don't know anything. <laughs> what do I tell Jean and his team when we don't even have a plan? The crow's out drinking, Osmond hasn't come back, and even if he did, I don't know if I could trust him. And there's always Jin, but... This episode is very pretty, though. <laughs> can ask her. What should we do? I feel like I'm letting everyone down. Ask you know, her, can anyone... Who can kill Salem? Credit. Ask her that. that I'm depressed! Uh, what? <laughs> if I have to explain it to you, it'll just defeat the purpose. <laughs> but if you're tired of not knowing anything, how about we discuss those eyes of yours? Oh, uh, yes ma'am. I would be honored. You should be giving Oscar a hug right now. <clears throat> is the rest of the episode just gonna be this? Let's start with what you do. <gasps> Tell me. Uh, silver eyed people are supposed to be legendary warriors or something. And <laughs> the weekend, I turned a giant wyvern into stone. Oh, she called it a wyvern. So it's not a dragon. Ooh. <laughs> I already knew everything. I wouldn't be asking for help. Yelling. She left it's the door open. <laughs> I had my father to teach me. And even he didn't have all the answers. But what he told me. I wonder if Ospin was her dad. <laughs> like a reincarnation of Ospin. It wasn't really an official title back in his day. I only knew him as an old soldier and an excellent teacher. I never attended mm. one of those fancy academies of yours. But I scored higher on the license exam than any <laughs> other huntsman or huntress that day. Huh. Mm. He must have been proud. Marie is so cute. He would have scolded me for showing off. He'd never been able to find much information. I want to eat some fruit now. <laughs> Just legends of warriors whose eyes shone like mirrors, reflecting mm -hmm. the light of the world onto darkness. And make me blind. He found so little, in fact, that it made him cautious. How could such powerful bloodlines be so The animation powerful? is so pretty now. What the fuck? Yes, something was actively seeking to destroy them. Salem. I tried to keep my powers a secret. But as you know, it wasn't enough. Mhm. Mm I owe my life to my training and my semblance. What's and your semblance? Day, those are still your most powerful tools. What is mm -hmm. your semblance? Thank you. <laughs> Reflexes. A silly name I came up with. Ooh. Hard to explain, but I can sense everything better than most and react to attacks almost before they happen. Cool. Find that with my training and secret ability. How do you realize that's your semblance, though? You're not just talented. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> and that's how you become the Grim Reaper. <laughs> so, reflexes would be a, such a cool semblance though, because it's so versatile. <laughs> thinking like that. Did you not engage I your aura, you Ruby? All the times you've triggered your powers. What did those emotional distress? Happen? Emotional distress. I was scared and stressed. Is it emotional? Like unlocking a semblance? It's emotional, but more focused than that. Ooh, we got. What Red like roses, guitar in the background. To save people. I wanted to protect my friends. Yep. Precisely. It is the desire to preserve do, do, life. Do, which do, 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 the life <laughs> and make no mistake, it's desire to protect life. life. Okay. Preservation is an extension of creation. Or so this is like the Silver Eyes dump episode. <laughs> of destruction. The creatures of Grimm were made by the god of darkness. Mm -hmm. Your light comes from his brother. How do you know that? After the gods left, why wouldn't the, the power go away? But um. never why it only worked on the Grim. Then Jin showed us her vision. Mm -hmm. Were you paying attention? <laughs> yep. Yeah. The god of light. His eyes. Wait, are you serious? Uh. <laughs> Where do you start? Okay, I'm pausing it. Well. Someone left me a comment 
that was like, the god of light has silver eyes. And I was like, uh, I don't think so. So I guess he did. I guess so. Just when I was watching it, it just, I just thought it was like an innate god power. He's like, I'm powerful, so let me like vaporize everything around me when I transform. I don't know, whatever. It's like not an important detail, but it's a god. I just thought he could do whatever he wanted. <laughs> but I mean, he was the god of light, so it was like, only work in the I don't know. Grim, meaning the only practice you'll get will be a trial by fire. But oh, they only the work in the presence of Grimm? Interesting. Creating a state of mind that you can tap into when you need it. Don't think about your light as a means of Oh, I saw that gif evil, on Twitter. But as a way to protect the people of Remnant. But mm -hmm. that can't be right. Hmm? Why not? You said the light only reacts to Grimm, but I used it during our battle at Haven. It reacted to Cinder. Cause she had a grim arm. <laughs> there was something that you just weren't seeing. Ruby. Oh, this episode's hey, almost over. Guys. I'm depressed. What's going on? Oscar's gone. It's all. Ah. He's missing. Fuck you, Jean. I fucking hate you. Fuck you, Jean. Oh my god. Oh, such cool concept art though. It's so artistic. Like, that's like wallpaper shit right there. Jesus. <sighs> I fucking hate Jean. I fucking hate him. He's a piece of trash. Okay, look. I get why Jean would react like that. But it's just as bad as Crow physically assaulting a 14-year-old kid. Like I said, I know why Jean would react that way. But I still fucking hate Jean right now. And if he doesn't apologize, bow down, get on his knees, and apologize to Oscar, I'm, I'm going to hate Jean for a long time. <sighs> okay, so. Uh, episode 9. The day I'm filming this. Episode 9 is still only out for first members. So I am going to watch it again. I can't freaking speak i am going to watch it right after i finish this video but obviously it'll be out later um so i'm not going to talk so much right now like this was another transition episode so like the pace is kind of slowing down um just i am so fucking pissed at jean i hate jean and it was like a silver eyes dump episode so basically we learned um how to activate them why they activate um also, the, the God of Light only had silver eyes when he was a dragon. So th that's part of why I was so skeptical. I don't know. It's something I'll probably have to think about, maybe rewatch, whatever. But I love this volume. This volume is so pretty. But literally, like, fuck Jean. If no one cusses Jean out and, like, tells him he's an asshole, I'm gonna do it for him, for them, while I'm watching the next episode. Um, I saw a gif from this episode I'm about to watch where, um, Jean's sister goes out with a few of them, and I guess they're looking for him. Um, but I feel so bad for him. Oscar Protection Squad 2K19, leave a comment. Uh. Okay, um, I'm gonna watch episode 9 now. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, let me know what you thought of these episodes. Uh, that's what I think. That's what's in my mind right now. I'm just like, uh, I'm depressed. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna move on. If they don't find Oscar, I'm going to be even more depressed and never want to be happy again. <laughs> Whatever. I'd like, I need to watch the episode first. Okay. I feel, y'all can tell I'm like fucking losing it. But okay. I'm going to watch episode nine now. Maybe talk more then. Let me know what y'all think. And I'll see you in my episode nine reaction. Bye.